Okay, so you are now looking at my cluttered desktop and this is pretty much how I look in real life right now after doing all these tutorials in a row. <laughs> okay, so my woes ahead away. Um, so what I'm going to do is click on my project file and I am going to double click on the OBJ file and it's going to open up Photoshop. I found that Photoshop will happily accept the 3D and not give you that this is the wrong type of um, file error less if you open it from um i just opened up the wrong file he <laughs> closed this uh if you open up your file externally if i was to open it up from inside blender i might get that error saying that it's the wrong type of file i just found that it works a lot better if you try to open it from externally rather than internally okay so when you open it you'll see that your garment comes into Photoshop and it is ready for you to paint on as you see it's right here it's gorgeous let's paint so what you want to do is use the 3d navigation tools which is down here this will allow you to rotate the tool it's like a little circle with a um, it's a sphere with a circle around it that lets you move it around uh, this is the 3d roll this lets you rotate it around on the side um, this is the pan tool that you move it around like so uh, and this is the slide tool which you really won't use any of these two at the bottom uh, if you want to zoom in you have to use the camera zoom tool and click and then you zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out and that lets you um, do it that way you don't want to use the 2d move tool on your 3d object only on 2d layers do you want to use this 2d move tool um, so with that said let's slap this back into proper view so I just messed it up and press control Z so I'm going to click on the object here and I'm gonna make it go back to the front alright so there we have it where it's like pretty much straight <laughs> alright so now we have our 3d stuff done let's go into the 2d layer you want to go over here to the side where it says layers and if yours doesn't look like mine you can just press uh, design and then painting and it should come up like this so uh, what I do is click on this right here textures where it says diffuse and you pick shirt and it already has my baked layer in here that's why it's all black um, I probably would have liked it if it was white so I'll, let me switch it over um, let's see how do you make things white Thank you. So this is auto. Yay! There we go. Just push auto contrast and it became white. <laughs> so, with our t shirt base layer here, we're going to create a new layer and this is what we're going to paint on. And to save time, you're going to decide what color shirt you want to work with. Um, now, this may seem silly, but I'm going to make a gray shirt. <laughs> a gray shirt. And, um,. You just change it from normal to whatever. I like multiply best when working with shirts, but you can just roll your mouse through the blending options and see uh, which one looks best for you. So I'm going to push multiply because that's what I know looks best on these shirts. Um, then we're going to create a new layer. <laughs> and this is where you're going to really be working on in the 3D. So let's just close this. And then when it asks you, you want to save the document, say yes and uh, yeah you can go in here and then start working on it so grab your brush uh, change your brush size to whatever and you can just start scribbling on your shirt preferably in a color that's not the same color as the shirt so you can draw all your designs and stuff on there you can zoom in if you need a better look and you can put whatever you want on here now make sure you can double click back here and you see that it's already applied to the texture. So um, I, won't, I don't want this, so I'm just going to close this. Say you want it to write text on here, you can do the same thing. Let's zoom out, use the zoom tool here, and zoom out on a shirt. You're going to just grab your text tool and uh, you can pull it across wherever you want it. I would like it here. And you can write a uh, bunny or... Bunny is zero. Oh my god. <laughs> and um, you can change the color of it and all that. Just have fun. Double click on your text box if you need to change the color. You can change the color of the text up here. 
and uh, that and here so have fun with that um, so once you get your text in a place and you like the way it is you click on the paintbrush and you click on the garment Ow. no matter how many times I turn it down it always comes back up somehow okay so what you want to do is says it gives you this error don't worry about it just say okay and uh, what you want to do after you've turned it into a picture is right click on the layer and then you push merge down and you see it goes on to the garment so if I was to double click on the flat layer again you see it's already here onto my texture now what about decals and pictures and all the rest of that stuff the process is exactly the same we're just going to create a new layer and we're going to find a picture picture I just cleared off my desktop so I don't know what pictures I have on here I still got my uh, what's this thing called my Jasper picture oh so you would just grab your picture and bring it in here and I'm going to scroll it down a bit and I don't want the black background place file on the shirt because if I do it looks just like a square it's been added onto there and that's not good so what I can do is use the magic eraser hit ok um, you can use the magic eraser and you can just erase it that way but sometimes it takes out all the black and that's not good because she has black in her uh, garment so it's like bleh um, undo. you can try what is this magic eraser you can try turning down the tolerance a bit and see if that will help yeah see now I got rid of the black but I was able to keep some of the black in her clothes um, not so much at her feet so I would just undo again turn the tolerance down a little more and there we go now we got her feet and stuff in there but now it's all edgier in there, but I don't think anybody would really notice so also a quick tip is make sure that you uh, remove the black from the the O's because you don't want to have a bright colored shirt and dark O's and everybody will know that the shirt was originally black or something like that so let's just remove all that you want to clean up as much of that as you can it would have probably came out once if I wasn't trying to save the black uh, blackness in her leg and all that jazz. So actually, I think that's as good as I'm gonna do it for right now. Oh no, I'm gonna keep cleaning. <sighs> okay. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I have a black shirt on. Anyway, let's get out of here. We have this shirt on where we want it. We're just going to right click on the shirt layer, uh, the, the graphic layer, and we're going to pick merge down. And you see we have our shirt. You could try some tips like blurring around the edges or whatever if you think it's too spiky. Oop, I blurred too much. Oh, I blurred way too much. Actually, it hurts my eyes. Uh, you press control V and undo. Don't blur it. Don't blur. Abort. I broke it. There we go. Forget it. Don't um, blur. <laughs> Blurring's bad. So once we have the shirt, the decal on the shirt the way we like it, we're going to double click on the shirt layer again and then we're going to save the texture. So save as uh, desktop in your project folder and you want to save this as a JPEG. Um, like I said, if you don't want any kind of transparency in your shirt, you want to save it as a JPEG. If you want your shirt to have some kind of transparency in it, then you save it as a ping or PNG. So I don't want any transparency and I want to be safe with this. So I'm going to save it as a JPEG and then I'm going to um, hit save. And that's it for painting in here. All we have to do now is export our shirt from Blender, bring it into Second Life, and then apply our texture. So, final steps, last tutorial. Alright, so I'm close this, and I'll see you guys back in uh, Blender.